What is up guys? Welcome back to some more Top Mass Patreon server. Today we are going to do lots of little things around the server. We're going to start off with that Guardian farm. We might move back to the base and do some stuff there. We might go to spawn, but yeah, let us get into it. So yeah guys, welcome back. Uh, there was no episode yesterday because I just wasn't feeling it. Like, I had a bit of a headache. I had my wisdom teeth were giving me grief. Uh, that's no excuse, but yeah, I just couldn't really record. So I jumped on here and I worked on this bridge here. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing, but I, I like it. I like how it turned out. It's a double decker. The bottom is for people to run across and for horses and so forth. The top is for items and railroads, and we'll get onto that later. But yeah, let us take you on your own. Ugh. Let us take you on a tour. Oh, I, I like it. This is the first time I've ever used the moss stone um, s walls. I had a couple from that spider spawner, and they work really well. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, simple designs. Um, I actually chuck on my camera account. I was. I don't want to say I really cheated, but like I just had my camera account out, out flying over there just so I could see how it looks from a distance while I was building it. So I will switch to the guy. He should be over there somewhere. So yeah, if we're out here, it, I don't know. It just it looks way better from a distance than if I was up close. So I'll give you a little tour across. It's just it's this pattern repeated, right? It's just a couple stone pillars. What's an andesite? I just copied the bottom rail. And then we just got some spruce wood and some black glass for the top. And now I'm just, I've just topped it off with some stone slabs. And it looks really, really cool from out here. So I'm not sure whether it's the final design. But I just really, really like it. So uh, let us... I'll actually give you a tour from this perspective of the Guardian Farm. Uh, this morning I just... I sort of... Um, What's the word? <laughs> I marked out where I want to bring this up, so I just took some blocks from down there, and I brought them up here, right? And so now, what I'm going to be doing for the next, I reckon it'll only take me an hour to destroy. We might, we might get onto building that today, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to cut here. I'm going to hopefully destroy that whole thing. Uh, should I time lapse it? No, uh, too much effort. <laughs> no, I'm not going to time lapse this because I'm going to have um, this temple open on my second monitor in a single player, and I have to try and recreate it. So that's the only reason I can't really time lapse the destroying and building of it coming up here. So I'm going to cut here. Uh, I will probably destroy this, and I'll bring you guys back once it's all up here. So yeah, be right back. I just wanted to give you guys a little progress update because this thing looks really really cool dissected i've only got this much so far i'm hopefully collected every single block because when i rebuild this thing i'm probably going to be short a few from the blocks despawning but it looks really cool dissected we'll just jump over here and we'll have a look see all the rooms laid out it's really weird like it is it's really weird how it generates like the main room is like at the back left that main room that should be in the center, but it's not. Not on center. Uh, that looks really cool. Got the so I got the main room. Got like, uh, that they're all different. It's not symmetrical, like that. That's not symmetrical. It's like on an angle, but they're all. It's like a puzzle. It looks really really cool. Let's go down here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I missed some. Oh, whoa, frame rate. Rip. There we go. Also, on my last video, uh, the time lapse, I was looking back at it, and I'm not sure if these blocks give like a glowing effect, or the Guardian Farm does, or if it's just like a visual effect. But during the time lapse, it was like this thing was glowing through the eight hours I was digging it out. Uh, hello, rain. Hello, thunderstorm. <laughs> I'm gonna go sleep. So yeah, um, that's a little progress update. I will bring you guys back when I've dissected the whole thing. 
Uh oh. That's not good. Where do you come from, buddy? Why? Why do I always run into the slime chunks? Ah, uh, where do you come from? Hopefully you came from underneath here. Yes? Oh no! Yeah, hopefully you're underneath here. Oh no, I might have to block this out. I don't want slime chunks in the Guardian farm. Dang it! Okay, the next layer is done. I always get a frame lag when I start recording. I think it's the hard drive I'm recording to is external and it just it tries to find it. Oh, enough about technicalities. Um, yeah, so we have done the second layer. It is looking pretty cool. So we get another look at the maze. So we come over here. Oh. Yeah. Cool layout. Let's get one more floor to go and then we're all done. You might be able to see my two picks are pretty much dead. Uh, this one's on one. It was on one. It's back up to three. Weird. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you guys what I usually do to repair my tools. I don't usually show this on camera. Uh, you know I've got my, my toolsmith guy back in my library. And I always keep a couple... Man, my inner chest. I need to really sort this out. Uh, he trades unbreaking to efficiency two picks. And the best you can get is unbreaking maybe three efficiency three silk touch one but don't quote me on that and i grab these i always have a few spare because i have my emeralds in there and then i bring an anvil over uh now hope it usually costs three levels to repair one of these picks so i'm not sure what is this my silk touch what usually costs me three levels so it's because it's enchanted Oh, it has an MBT tag. Okay. Um, do we have a diamond in here? We do. Science time. And I always keep some wood in here as well. Uh, crafting. Where's my crafting table gone? Disappeared. I have wood. Of course. Okay, let's try this. So I just want a crafting bench. Plop that down beside here. Uh, this should cost three levels. Where is it gone? It's there. So we'll grab that, chuck the sticks away. Hopefully, this will cost us three levels to repair. I just enchanted this, right? Sufficiency four. Three levels? Two levels, yeah. So it's actually not worthwhile doing that. So I'll repair that pick. And what if we what if we combine these two nine levels pretty much for a free pick efficiency three and it's efficiency three is all right because we're not having a haste to mine yeah i'll do that and we'll just chuck our silk touch back in the inner chest and repair that back at home oh why not repair it now i've repaired this many times so we'll see how much it costs should be about 12 or so levels right now because my silk touch pick i have repaired maybe four four times now 19 oh it's still three it is amazing i repaired this so many times it's still three levels weird okay we can chuck this one back in and uh, that's my work pick silk touch um just a quick note you need silk touch for the sea lanterns otherwise they will break on you uh, where is my gold block chest? Oh, I know I have gold blocks here somewhere. Where is it? There it is. I'll chuck that back in my inner chest so I can put that, take that home. Okay, cool. Um, picks are repaired. Let us get the rest of that done. I don't know what scale Biffa's bowl was at when he was doing it back in the first season of Hermitcraft, but yeah this is pretty big pretty big so what did what just happened there did i just fall how did, okay weird hard to watch that back um yeah so i've dug down to where i want it uh you see where these were um it starts 
pretty much the Guardian Farm starts right here. See up there? That's good. So I'm going to be rebuilding that. Um, I got four and a half chests full. That's how much the Guardian Farm takes up. So I hope to rebuild that over time. Um, when I get a haste to beacon over here, so when I get a beacon, I might actually go for a few hours and have a look to see if I can find any wither skills today. But yeah, in time, I want to dig down from here, this whole square, down to bedrock. Um, this slope will stay there. Uh, and this stone brick's only temporary. I'm going to be covering it in prismarine over time. But yeah, uh, that's all done. So all I need to do now is there's still like these little pockets here. I think the slime chunk was under here. So it's all, it's pretty much started. So I only need to go down another 33 blocks. But yeah, this whole um, prismarine farm mechanism will start up in the sky. As in like where the farm used to be and this big water pocket that will come in time but i think we've had enough done at the guardian farm today so let us go do something else i thought on the way back to uh the base we would stop by at spawn because we just came through this portal here uh, i started laying out the roads uh, a couple episodes ago before we went back to the to the guardian farm so you can see my path is over there i bring out the path here Going to the town hall, still a work in progress. Will it never get done? We don't know. And it looks like Linku's put some jungle trees, because I know he was at the jungle last night. So I might take a couple of those. I've only been using cocoa beans for my sheep that I found in dungeons. I haven't actually gone to the jungle yet, so I just need that tree, and then my collection will be complete. Uh, so we go over here, the spawner. I connected up the path there. Um, someone, I forgot who it was, I'm sorry, made the pumpkin and melon towers, always essential for a server. Um, over there, Koron is built a path out that way, and that's Linku's path over there. Uh, here, this is where I built the lake in like episode 2 or 3. Um, Abba fishing, it's a thing, it's going to be here soon. I'm still working out the details, but that should be a future episode, so we'll work on that in the future. Uh, this is going to be a bridge, very fancy right now, but yeah, I still fancy it up. I'm just trying to work out the path logistics. So we come over here into the very dark end of town. I cleared out some more birch trees behind the town hall. And so this can be for more shop areas or just community builds. So we come around here. Uh, is that it? I think maybe. Yeah, cool. I'm not sure if anything has changed out here hmm we'll have a look <laughs> oh we still got mr purple sheep out there he has not disappeared yet he actually likes that place he hasn't moved i don't think he knows how to move he doesn't want to swim all the way to freedom <laughs> uh let us go and take a look at the loot of my fishing expeditions because i have been f oh i put a moment in the chest no um i said in a previous episode that lure does not affect like luck of the sea lure actually increases like the speed of what you fish up so i i sort of lied to you guys i didn't realize i thought you just needed luck of the sea three and i'm breaking three and it's like the perfect rod for loot whereas lower three unbreaking three and luck of the sea three is a better rod so i have this one yeah so i was using a luck of the sea three rod before and my rates were so slow uh, let me go grab my rod real fast. So yeah, as you can see with this rod, it's Lure 3, Luck of the Sea 3, and Unbreaking 3, the perfect rod. And, like, if you saw fishing before, like, I was trying to fish on camera and it was really, really slow. And now that I'm filming this, it's probably going to be super slow as well. But we should see a fish right away. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're just going to do this on camera, aren't you? Stupid... Oh, wow. Oh, no, I've got my particles off. That's right. I always turn them off for recording because it's really annoying. Um, so, yeah, what I've got is I fished up two more rods. I've fished up a Power 4 and a Protection 3 book. Um, so many fish. So I'm just storing them here. Clownfish, I've got six so far. I'm going to be hoarding these because at the moment they don't do anything. Like, you can eat them for one hunger bar, but that's it. It's like, it's like the rarest thing in minecraft right now is a clownfish 
and it's silly because they're useless. It's like the new Lapis, I guess. Since Lapis became useful for enchanting, clownfish have taken their place. Uh, what have I got here? I have six bows now. They all look like they fish up 75% damage to them, so that's pretty cool. I got a punch one, I'm breaking three, power three, meh. Power four, I'm breaking three, punch two, that's pretty good. And an infinity one, power four, punch two. Uh, how many saddles? I've only got one saddle, three name tags. And yeah, that's, that's all the fish loot I've got. Let's go have a look, see if anything inside has changed. Let's actually go down to the farm area. I haven't actually touched this place since the episode I filmed. I was going Was that lever always there? I don't like that lever. That lever didn't used to be there. Someone's touching my stuff again. <laughs> or maybe it was me. <laughs> so yeah, let's come down here. I still have to change this. I know in the comments you guys said this was very, very busy. And I agree, like I'm just going to make this more plain, but I, I like this. I'm not going to change this, I'm going to change the entrance here. But uh, let, let us work on the wheat farm. It's going to be very, very simple, unless it's like an automatic cactus or melon or something like that. I'm just going to do a simple wheat farm just in this corridor here. I'll cut back with you guys when I've finished that. Ho, ho, ho. I'm here all week. <laughs> I just I just thought of that as about to record. I was just like, I have a ho and I'm Santa. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so cheesy. So here is the finished farm. Pretty snazzy. I like it. It's very inefficient. It's just plant and grab as we need. Uh, I got some hay bales there from the wheat farm that we had up there, which I'm going to be moving all that over now that I've got there. I might actually dig out a little area behind here and put like my little my cows over there since I have to run all the way over there to get the cows uh, I had to go back to the guardian farm I had to steal some more lamps because oh, that is so cool I just love them so much they're the coolest light block in the game and yeah the roof just very simple slab of dark oak and I just chuck some spruce in there and yeah that's that's it not much detail but it, it works so I think that's gonna do it for the day guys. Uh, I'm going to cut here. I'm going to see the subscriber of the day and we will plop you on the shelf. So I'll cut right here and we will see who's going to put their head right here. And the winner of episode 15 is Eli1211. Congratulations guy. You are now on the shelf. If you want to be a uh, winner of this episode, episode 16, put your MC name in the comments and you could be on the shelf to and the, the next episode that's it um one thing guys i need i need your help i need your help to understand something in this game okay you ready you see all these people's names right you see you see my name schnicks nz is there because i made a schnicks account <coughs> ah, sorry i made a schnicks account maybe like four years ago before I registered and I forgot the username so when I went to take schnicks it was taken by myself but I didn't know the name of it so I put schnicks NZ because New Zealand so forth top mass simple and effective GI Jojo effective now it, we get onto these people what like I don't understand them like one two three sure that it's like a, a number like do them does the number represent something like was this the eighth roller? Did you not get your name for the first seven tries? And like, Cobra 27? Did you, are you like the 27th Cobra? I, I'm asking this because like, Eli 1, 2, 2, 1. Like, are there another 1200 Eli's out there with this, with the username? I just don't get it. Guys, fill me in. Like, can we not pick a, like, I'm not, I'm not renting at you guys for like, weird usernames, but the weird. Why do you have to have a huge number in your name? Why can't you just have a name? I'm sure there's millions of names out there that haven't been chosen, like Bob. Bob's probably chosen. He's probably his probably username named Bobbed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so um, that's my little question for you guys. Why is it that some people have that username with lots of numbers in there? Leave in the comments. I really want to know because I just don't understand. But yeah. Also leave your MC name in the comments down there, and I will try and get you on the shelf next episode. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, leave a like or a dislike depending on if you hated or enjoyed this video 
uh, share with your friends if you want. If you don't want to, just click away now and never come back because, yeah, <laughs> because you hate me. <laughs> oh, see what happens when I just go on a little rant and I say stupid things like that. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.